Hi, my name's Simon from TradeRoomPlus.com and today we're going to be looking at the assets of the day, which are global indices. So start off by looking at the FTSE 100 like we always do. Um, this level we have marked up from last week, this high back here that's around sort of a 6.6, six, um, sorry, 6.560, I beg your pardon, is of interest to me. It looks like we're putting pressure on it. Didn't quite break it again today, but it is looking like it's, going, it's looking for a pop-up here. Um, potentially so I think for me I'd be interested to see the market come back up get long above this 6550 put the stop below wherever the daily low is and then potentially look to open up the 50% Fib retracement where we might find some resistance may find some resistance on the lows of these candles but I wouldn't want to take profit that low I want to see if it rode out a little bit longer than that I think a reasonable final target for this trade might be here where we've got um, market finding resistance, finding support, and then breaking below. I anticipate that we'll probably find a little bit of resistance on that level. So ideally, in an ideal world of trading patterns, I would like to get long above this 5.0, not look back, and then potentially get short up at 6.675 as well. So that would certainly be interesting for me. Now, if we start breaking down and putting pressure on this 6.450, may have the opposite effect here. I mean, we've still got extremely strong European and US markets. The FTSE has been lagging behind some distance. So if we start putting pressure down here at this 6475, I might look for a break short and potentially to open up the lows and maybe this low down here all the way from uh, the middle of December as well. So that would be the sort of patterns I'm looking for on the FTSE, looking for a break long uh, out of the range at the moment, short up here, alternatively a break short and then potentially long from down here. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what the market wants. So moving on to the DAX, we can see that we uh, made slight all-time new highs when we uh, traded on on Monday as the market opened. We then did fade back down, a bit of a rejection there, really, on the DAX. So the question is whether we can sustain it. I mean, I think the chances of it hitting an all-time high, bouncing off this much and going straight through are relatively low without some sort of pullback. Of course, this price action holding above makes it quite difficult to short the market because it looks like you're trying to short all-time highs. So I think the markets are a little bit tricky at the moment, particularly on short-term time frames. If you're looking at things like five minutes an hour, these past couple of weeks have been uh, have been pretty tricky from my perspective anyway. But um, you know, that's the way that's the ebb and flow of trading. You know, Sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's a little bit uh, easier, dare I say. And I certainly think if we have another go at this uh, 14.134 we may see another break of the all-time highs the market puts pressure on here pulls back maybe breaks up and continues i think that'd be interesting equally the low of today and yesterday looks like an interesting level for a break short sure. to me it depends on you know, whether you think the markets are slightly overvalued the stock markets here i mean maybe a bull a break below 14.042 we'll see some further downside so that could be a potential trade down there as well if you wanted to see the market um, continue to break down we'd look for it to uh, yeah just break down like that so I think for me retest ignoring this wick really retesting the previous all-time high up at 14.133 looking for a break long I'll wait and see if the market puts pressure on this 14.040 and uh, ends up uh, breaking down now, the Dow has just been super bullish. One, two, three, four, five, six positive days in a row. Just not stopping right now, is it? And we've just broken above the all We actually opened up above the all-time high. So it actually looks like a really nice break long opportunity here where the market's come up. Found resistance, similar to the DAX, really, what we just looked at, where the market doesn't go through. It leaves a little wick, and then it's eventually come back up. Found some resistance Friday, and then today it's gone straight through. So it's slightly deceptive because um, you know, the market has gapped up when it's opened up. Um, the futures market opens up on Sunday night, and the cash the following day on Monday so it's not quite as easy as that's looked but again it's looking super bullish and there's so many people who are going to be trying to short and top pick this market and for me it's just looking for opportunities to get long because it's an uptrend until it ends so if the market wants to pull back find some support on this uh, uh, sort of uh, 31,300 just below um, then breaking back up that's exactly what I'll be looking for there on the Dow I don't think there's any real um, daily time frame to look at shorting this market so for me it's just a case of looking for the market to pull back here and go up I'm not a massive fan of trading the market when it goes into all-time new highs I think, it, I think it's a bit tricky it's not like it was a huge day yesterday um, you know there's very choppy on the five minute time frame during the, se the actual trading session so I don't think it's been particularly easy albeit if you're in a long position then you've done remarkably well at the moment because it's uh, doesn't really look like it's stopping so for me on the Dow, pull back down here to 13.1245 and then looking to get along off that level. 
and relatively similar business with the Nasdaq. I mean, the Nasdaq is just unbelievable at the moment. I mean, these are the previous all-time highs just over a year ago before we had the coronavirus sell-off, and it's looking like absolutely nothing, is it? I mean, the valuation of these tech firms is just just crazy. And I can see why people are doing the best to top picking it and shorting it, but you know, regardless of how crazy you think some of these valuations are, the market's just going up. So if it's just going up, then all we do is we, we want to try and get long on it. It's as simple as that, really. We actually saw um, this level get this level very technically, very nice and technical work today. When the market's come up, found resistance here, found resistance, broken up, found support. Lovely little pattern there that was uh, perfectly tradable. Uh, on the pullback i'm not sure exactly when that happened on the daily time frame on monday but it was very very nice so certainly for me i'll be looking for that to occur again if the market pulls back down to this 13600 level i'll be looking to get long on the market only if we started putting several tests on it would i look consider going short on a breakdown so for me looking for the market to come down to this 13600 rallying off that and uh, continuing up would be the trade for me so yeah with most of the markets apart from the FTSE it's uh, looking for opportunities to get long um, really there's a shorting opportunity on the DAX as we discussed but mainly it's looking to get long and I know some of these prices may seem pretty crazy but you know they're going up so I don't really think of it much more deeper than that if they're going up they're going up for a reason then if they're going down they're going down for a reason I find that helps my clarity with my uh, trading so we'll see where we are so thank you for joining me i hope you'll join me next week for the assets of the day which are global indices